G'day guys, Chewy here from Crash Course Gaming and today we're going to do some more coverage as Heroes of the Storm and specifically we're going to show you the melee warrior ETC, the Elder Tauren Chieftain. He's got the power to rock and some skills that make him a little bit more flexible than just your average tank and I'm going to show you what it's all about. Okay guys, let's kick it off. It's time to do some ETC action. So what ETC is, he's actually a melee warrior and you could say he's almost like a tank but he's more like an aggressive rockstar tank that's got an ability to CC a whole team. Um, so let's go over his moves. His trait is that it's got rockstar. So what that basically does is every time you use a basic or heroic ability, you give anyone around you in that aura a 20% attack speed increase to all nearby allies. Obviously any minions only get half of that. Some of the abilities that he has on offer to use is Power Slide, which is sort of like a dive-in attack that deals damage and stuns. He's got Face Melt, which basically deals damage to the enemy and knocks them back as well. And he's got a self-heal called Guitar Solo. Well, let's look at building him up, and I think for the build we're going to go, we're probably going to go... No, we don't really want them to dance for five seconds. I think we want the Power Slide to have a little bit more strong. A little bit more stronger hit than what it normally does. So let's get in there and see what we can do. Uh, so no one's whoa. Okay. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. Nice try, used to. That was, that was their little gank there. Good Kerrigan and Diablo. They really went for it. I, I reacted. I think as quick as I could. As quick as I could. Probably used a bit. Uh, I don't really needed the heal ability. I don't think. But you can never be too sure with those two. Looks like we got a kill there, and they've got a kill on us. So it's pretty even at the start. And we've got a miss missing mid. Missing mid. And the Garden Terrors. Oh god, I love this map. I really do. Honestly. I, I might have to go top though. I, I think staying in this lane with no one here is a waste, because if they're not there, they're up there ganking someone else. Let me go in there. And they've got the stealth, so they've got Zeratul. Let me just go in there and give them a little bit of harass. We've got three in there. Careful the Diablo. Oh my god, Illidan. Oh my god. It is time. Yep, yep, yep. A fair bit of damage coming off that. No doubt about that. Alright, we got the Garden Terrors up, so we should be going in there and heading towards into them. I'm going to go for the Demon Hunter. I know we're not going to kill him. She's got she's got so much escape power. Oh, Yelladin, you crazy dog, you. Let's round up these Garden Terrors. Look at this, look at this. Here he is. Oh my god, come on, I'm going to increase the guitar solo heal. Oh, we didn't get the chance to get on that Diablo. Um, a little bit later on, we're going to get a bit of a speed buff on our trade ability, which is really going to assist with damaging the enemy. But at least we got him. There's Diablo, sneaking around. Oh, he's going to die by the creeps. Looks like we've got pretty good control on both types. Alright, well I guess I'll just sit here and start doing this. No one else is going to come. Come on. Come to me, guys. I can't solo this guy. I'm good, but Jesus, I'm not that good. Let's go, Elodin. Let's get some damage in there. Watch that. Get those seeds. There we go. Give him a little bit of a buff. Get out of that. And there comes the slam. Yeah, that's not too bad. We're doing all right. Uh, maybe I should take the damage off you there, pal. There we go. Well, oh, Illidan, what are you doing? Took it to the face. Took it to the face. Finally, you have enough Someone should go back there and, and activate that. Get the terror. Oh, Illidan's on it. He's getting the terror, which is all good by us. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for a quick push up here. Just going for the quick push on the creeps. And I, I, I might even go... I might even go... Yeah, we, we should go after that one. Yeah. Come mid. Come mid, pal. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get a bit of harass on that Kerrigan there. I don't want to scare her away too much. There we go. There we go. Terror should be able to push that quite nicely. Get in there, pal. Get in there. Give the attack increase for that one as well. And for the next ability that we're going to go for is the increased ability on the power slide. So really, we're just focusing on how much damage and strength we can get out of that power slide. Just to show you that 
just because it is a bit of a tank class, you can actually get quite a fair bit of damage out on ETC, without a doubt. And get that, that increase constantly to the creeps really does assist with a lot of this as well. Really does. The plant's down, I'm going to get in close for the buff. There we go. Get that one down as well. Oh, zero two. Oh, no, he TP'd on me. I was trying to slide him over. I really, I went for the slide over. It didn't quite work that way. Uh, you definitely don't want to get too close to Diablo. He's, he's got a very good ability to pull you over that wall and make your life a living hell. Oh, we're still, st oh, we're still going. Okay, all right. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on that destroying the gate. So if Diablo does come for the pull, if he does, that's fine. And I'm just going to slide on through. Perfect. There we go. Now I think I think we should take it. We should go for the creeps. Yeah, let's go. Let's creep it up, boys. Let's creep this up, and then go for this one, and then this one. Don't worry about them. I'll take care of them. That's it. Power slide. Oh, zero two. Oh no 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 no. Oh man, I forgot about the zero two. No. But that's alright, we got the creep camp on the positive. Diablo is soloing that creep camp, that she is. But obviously we've got two choices here. We've got the stage dive, which is the heroic ability that does damage the enemy. Or well, the other option is to use the mosh pit, which is after a short delay you basically do a channel stun in an AoE. I really I really prefer the mosh pit, only for the fact that it's an AoE stun. And it really does help. And you can upgrade it so that the stun keeps them stunned and has some increased damage debuff on them as well. And I just, I really like it. I really like it. Honestly. You can go for the stage start, which is really good for jumping in and assisting. And maybe for that one big hit for the AoE, but all in all, I, I really do prefer Mosh Pit. I, I don't know why. I just really do. Obviously, depending on who you got in your team, I mean, we're pretty beefy as it is. So, if I can keep them still, and Illidan has done his heroic ability, I mean, you can just clean up. Absolutely clean up. And I think we're going to go... Illidan's got that by himself easily. I think we should go for this one. I think we should just ignore that and go for the Merc camp. That's it. Come on, Kerrigan. There we go. We got the mosh pit. Alright. You know what? This is, what? this is what it's all about, man. This is what it's all about. Oh, no, why did I do that? <laughs> I'm gonna... Oh, silly, I'll cancel that. But that was a clear indication of what not to do for the mosh pit. <laughs> that is not what you, you do not do it that way. But uh, that's okay. We've got our revenge in Zero Tool. But at least I've given you a, a clear indication of what it looks like. I mean, there's a bonus. But just don't do it that way. You really just want it. You want to get that power slide in, and you want to slam on that mosh pit and hold them where they're at. I, I agree. Let's get them. Illidan's pretty much taking care of bottom quite well. Um, this is what I really like. It's a move speed aura increase. So whenever we use an ability, we also get a buff of speed. So it just it really helps with the if you're tr trying to follow up the enemies just to get in front to power slide, and then do your stun. It, it, it's really what you want to do. I'm just going to run past and, and get these guys. But they'll be quite fine without me, honestly. Quite fine. Yeah, yeah, buddy. So, pretty successful match so far. I mean, we have, we've we resisted them from building a terrace, building their own terror. We've just built our second terror. And Illidan is, well, has been cleaning up bottom quite a bit. And I know he's dead now, but he really did clean up there a bit. Good work. Good work. That's, that's what I'm talking about. And there we go. And then I'll get the buff going. Get out of that. And then we'll get the next terror. Give the team the buff. You can really see that attack speed increase just really does it help so much. And well, I don't want them to get any of these seeds, so I'm just going to sit here and camp all the seeds. This is what it's about. See, this this movement speed increase just helps you own them so much. You can see it there, just that, that burst increase of speed was the defining factor of catching them on that move. And this is it. We'll just chase them up. There we go.
I've got him. There we go. It's all about the follow-up on that move. It's all about the follow-up. You can just see that movement speed increase. Why I think it really does help, especially if you're going a little bit more aggressive sort of gameplay. And for the next ability, I'm going to go for the increase done on the power side. So when we do power side, we're just going to absolutely start owning them. That's all right. Kerrigan can say where she is. And then here we go. There we go. Done. And the beauty about Mosh Pit, if, if you do get a good, a good groups done on them, is they can just sit there and start hammering away at their life. No questions asked. There we go. That's down. That's two towers. Doing really well, guys. Doing really well. This, this is a. Yeah, it's almost like we're not versing other players, but we definitely are. We definitely are. We're just absolutely owning. And, and at this sort of point where you've got that massive advantage, you, you know, you, you can take those camps. No questions asked. Zeratul's not even a problem. He could pop out right now and we'll be able to handle him quite easy. Quite easily. And then we just need to capture these last two camps. And I guess we just want to regen our mana and then go back in. Oh, you're dead. You're completely dead. That was... That was a silly move, buddy. Well, that was... Yeah. Sucks to be Valor in that time. Sucks to be Valor in that time. We should be able to handle these cans quite easily, just together, and just keep breaking them up. It's amazing, it really is amazing, like, if you've got some good coordination and team, just how much damage you can really pull off against them. Oh, just grab a healing fountain, I don't even need to go back. Yeah, I'm down. I probably should grab that one first. Let me come in there, pal. There we go. Yeah, I'm really liking the ETC. I mean, like, for, for a, a different way to play a melee class, he, he's quite fun to play. You know, like, he he, he he does have a bit of survivability. You could build him that way. But, look, I, I really like this sort of build. I like to be able to, you know, buff your allies just a, as a base ability and to give them Aurora speed increase. It just it really does assist so much with the follow-up plays for the ganking and, and for the team fights as well. It's probably why I'm a little bit more a fan of a mosh pit. If we didn't have... If we maybe had a team that had really, really good stuns, you know, we already do have a fair good stuns as it is, but say we're lacking more more in, in the damage or the, the jumping abilities, I might go a dive, but, I mean, it's just too good of a skill to pass up. And I think, you know, I think it would be right to harvest both of these, these terror scenarios without having any harassment issues. They're quite quite busy trying to handle their problem, that, that being constant minions coming at their base. Plus, I think we've got oh, just one fortress to go. Got to stop looking off the screen too much. I was just trying to stick your beak. I think someone should go up there and split take that. That that should be a really, really good idea. We'll have a sec. We'll have our next terror coming right up. Hope you guys are really enjoying the coverage so far. If, if at all you see something, you know you want to see different or a different kind of build, I'm I'm happy to give you whatever you want to see. Um, yeah. Well, well, I guess I'll just, I'll just, I'll just solo this guy then. I mean, they, they'll be able to take that down quite easily. I'll just sit here and solo away. I might even TP back for that terror. I'll take it. I mean, if they're going to take this guy, they're going to take him, right? What's the most damage they can do? I need to get that terror, because obviously if you don't get that terror, exactly, it craves its host. If you don't, if you don't get there in time, um, well, bye bye on the terror. And I think I'm just going to charge in. I think those those creeps are pretty much about to take out the racks there. I should, did I just say racks? Completely wrong game. Completely wrong game. We need to get this fortress, guys. Yeah, not a good idea, pal. Come, come with me, guys. Now look at that. We've got another terror ready to go. So that means I'm just going to suicide their base with this terror. I mean, we've got pretty much one ready to go straight afterwards, and we've got plenty of time until the next terror um, spawn time comes as well. So 
We may as well just take as maximum value out of this as we can. And I am. Just gonna sit here and uh, get, we're gonna get out of that now. There's no use, no use running into a team fight that big. But hey, here come the cavalry. Here come the cavalry. And I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna boost in and I'm gonna use this to assist my team. Here we go. That's alright. It's okay. Well, I don't know if we should two versus these guys. There we go. Oh, you knocked him out of the ring! No, pal! You did it. Oh, man. That's alright. We should be able to take him on. We should be able to take these guys on. These speed buffs on Diablo should be more than enough power. Yeah, where's he gonna run to? There he is. So you can you can just see him. You really can. No. You know you can you, see, you could see just then. I could I could just see the shadows of Zeratul. I could just pretty much follow him up. You can. You can almost see, if you watch the replay, or if I watch it as well, there's sort of a, a faintish figure of his movements moving around in the shadow, so it is possible to try track him, if you're a game. Should be able to get in. Yeah. Come on, D. Come on, D. Don't give up, pal. Go for the stun lock, buddy. Go for the stun lock. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, I really did enjoy that actually. I mean, Kerrigan, I just stun locked him. Well, I wouldn't say stun lock, but I mean, a bit of combo there. We we did quite well. And we're going to get the Raider. Yeah, let's end it. What a great game. Guys, I, I hope you enjoyed the, the coverage tonight. I hope you had a bit of fun checking out ETC. Please subscribe. Um, leave me a comment if you want to see anything else, and I hope you enjoyed the show.